recording. All right. So uh, we took an incremental advance, went uh, up to that sort of fifth level. Uh, uh, it, uh, you know, have access to those delightful and delicious uh, abilities there. Um, and let me go over where exactly we are. Uh, so last session, you returned uh, back to Denmark and uh, you spoke with various people, including uh, the, the head woman, um, uh, Vannevar, um, and uh, you spoke with the watchman, Quiet. You uh, essentially uh, told them the story and you gave them great reassurance about what had gone on and told them what you were doing. Um, there were some other minor things. Uh, uh, for example, Micah went to the bar and noticed that his friend was missing, uh, the Crusader guy, um, and uh, Winter Thorn uh, went to uh, back to the, the, the chapel and with the assistance of Shikan again increased the sort of the level of faith in the town and uh, everyone's reassurance that that things are going to be okay. Um, after that, uh, the group decided to go uh, to see the monastery uh, because you'd heard that there were things there and you found uh, evidence in those notes. There was some research you, the group had done. Um, there was some discussion about going and checking out the mine in town or investigating further within Denmark, but you opted not to. Um, and uh, you went off. You were given uh, the location of a man named uh, Master Cherik, uh, who you met, who's a, a, a sort of hermit woodsman. Um, noticed quite a bit of, of elven stuff there, though he's human, uh, signs of maybe some contact with the elf queen or something. Uh, he agreed to take you up to the monastery uh, by a safe and quick route. Uh, on the way, you stopped and you looked at the closest and largest of the standing stones and saw that clearly something had been done to them, marks that indicated the touch of the Diabolist on them. Uh, traveled along further and saw that one of the smaller standing stones had actually been destroyed. There was just a pile of rubble where it had been. Again, clearly the, the obelisk's actions there. Um, you reached the monastery, and uh, Master Sherrick uh, essentially took watch as the group went down in, and uh, the attempt to sort of sneak in uh, did not go as well as you would have liked. <laughs> um, and you were set upon by a group of harpies as well as a group of gargoyles. Um, and my biggest regret about not having uh, the recording made of last session properly is that then I don't have on tape evidence of all of my criticals on you throughout the fight, which were uh, a delight to me. I think five was my, my, my count at the end, if I'm, I'm correct. I thought it was more than that. Did it feel like more? It just felt like more, maybe. All right. Um, so that is where we're taking up. Uh, with the, the group there uh, in the monastery. I'll also remind you that you saw uh, uh, Arendelle spotted some uh, uh, owlbear tracks, and that heads off uh, down another direction, off from the monastery, sort of back gorge. That uh, leads to some other areas, including the way up to where uh, you suspect the bandits uh, that had the sign of the Diabolus that you met in the first session may be holed up. But Right now you're at the monastery, and uh, you're searching around and looking there. Is there anything else I should know before I move on, or did I miss anything? There's a st spiral staircase that goes down, right? Yeah, you found that. Um, uh, that's sort of what, what, where we kind of left off was you spotting uh, that. All right. Any other questions about the, the area or anything? No, we found that body from the uh, bandit who had been yeah. left for dead, right? Right. Um, that would be amongst uh, other things you probably would see scattered around and about um, uh, evidence of, of the, the, the priests who died in the original fire and so on. Um, and it's clearly been, you know, a, a, a couple of decades since that occurred. Um, okay. uh, around the spiral staircase, so let's come to that area uh, there when essentially we got to there and you were kind of checking it out. 
So you would see that uh, around the area where the spiral staircase is that uh, there are a lot of tracks, uh, a lot of boot tracks uh, going uh, back and forth uh, from from that area. Uh, the the whole whole section around there is disturbed. The other thing you would notice is um, most of the rubble and uh, bits and pieces that are up here have clearly been weathered by age. Um, there's a, a lot of fresh rubble um, uh, up here as if people had been excavating down below. Oh. So I'm going to assume the standard marching order, which I believe is William, correct? Yeah. In front, uh, followed by... Uh, either uh, 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 Irindel or uh, Greyhelm. Which one? It's up to you, Irindel. I think I'll follow William. Okay. Then I'll follow Irindel. Gray. No, well, yes. Okay. Um, uh, and who is at the rear? Either Chacon or Winter? I think it's me, Chacon. Okay. And winter in the middle. All right. Because Shakan would never consider running away and leaving us, would he? <laughs> That's not why he wants to be at the back. No. He he went down that staircase uh, by himself and held off half the, half the 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 group in that ice fight, which uh, I I still remember with great admiration there. I know splitting the party actually worked. I, they, uh, that disappointed me though. So <laughs> So, uh, William, uh, we're going to start with you kind of taking point as you, you move uh, down through here. Um, you'll, you'll get down. It looks like there's a couple of levels. These are clearly sort of the uh, lower chambers of this ancient monastery. Uh, it, uh, uh, this, this level that you kind of move on to looks like a lot of it has collapsed. There clearly was... Sure. Uh, clearly was some kind of blaze here, um, certainly a fire that occurred, and yet you're guessing at the time that the, 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 the monks broke out into the sort of internal squabbling or struggle. Um, but you will see that uh, there's another set of stairs nearby, and debris and such has been cleared away from that path. Um, okay, I was just going to ask that. So that's where they've been moving things around? Yeah, it looks like... Uh, this 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 level this first level you enter into is is really hard to get around lots of things collapse they've clearly cleared away stuff so that they can have access to the to the level below all right well i will uh take a look at that then okay yeah. why don't you make your classic uh rogue uh detect traps check for me ooh okay I get plus two, I think, for cunning. Yes, you do. And I really have no idea. I'm just going to roll a d20 and figure it out. I don't have a roll for that. Enough there. Okay. Um, it'll be that plus your level, plus your wisdom bonus, plus whatever background's appropriate. Uh, oh, yuck. Well, oh. it'll be that plus four, plus two, plus probably... Uh, Five. All right. Um, so, do you get a reroll on those? I forget. Say what? Uh, do you have the thing that gives you a reroll on those checks? Uh, let me check. Sure. And tell me if you're getting any kind of echo from me at all, because uh, I've got a different set of headphones I'm using this week, and I'm not sure how much bleed they have. So fine. Good. Oh, yeah. If it's a natural even failure, the rogue can re-roll the skill check once. Yay. All right, let's... Even failure, all right. All right. 
there we go. Add 13 to that, and you'll get a 27. So you will get uh, down to the bottom of the stairs, and you're just about to step uh, when you will see uh, there is a line uh, done across this doorway at the base. Um, and you kind of bend down and look, and it looks like uh, essentially they've got uh, a essentially a crossbow trap set up uh, on the bottom of those stairs. Um, Whoa! Uh, okay. So do you want to disable that or just move past it? Uh, I will disable it. Okay, then you just need to make it disable and roll. DC 20. That'll be my tinker mechanic. Intelligence, then? Uh, I think that's dexterity, actually. Oh, even better. Very nice. Uh, so, you guys, uh, the, the group will move down. Uh, Tallfoot will stop you. He'll disarm this trap. And you will move forward down these halls. Um, imagine that this would have been a combination of stone and wooden chambers, the sort of the great sort of cross beams. Some of them have fallen, blackened, and they've been moved away. Um, one of the things is, is that you are moving down through here um, sort of in single file um, and having it at some points to bend down. Uh, it, it, it looks like a lot of people spent a good deal of time clearing this pathway out. Um, and uh, uh, you can see bits and pieces, uh, broken broken uh, skeletal bits and so on. And one of the things you'll note when you kind of come out, you had to crouch down to get under an area and you kind of open out and the, the hallway opens. And winter, uh, Arendelle, uh, you will see that there are black marks on the wall, like shadow outlines, um, that you get a strange vibe off of uh, as you guys uh, kind of approach. All right, well, I'm going to quietly warn the rest of the party that there's something unnatural afoot. Okay. So Arendelle kind of steps forward and, and has you guys wait. Winter, what about you? So you're saying shadow outlines, do they look like they're humanoid form? Yeah, it, it's it's almost like that sort of burn pattern that you might get, but it, it, it seems different. Um, why don't you make a wisdom check and I'll let you use your, your archivist with that. Yeah. Good, good thing about spending so much time in the library, right? Yes. Um, how did I do? Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, it looks like these are like outlines of ghosts. Um, and it looks like they've been exercised or destroyed in a most uh, infernal manner. Okay, well, I guess Winter will convey that to the group, saying this looks like diabolical magic was used to banish these ghosts. Yes, rather, rather than sending ghosts on to their just reward, it uh, uh, stripped them down and probably sent them down into the pits. Nice. Um, well, it's recent, I'm assuming it is. Yeah, if you if you take a look, you can gauge that it's been within the last few weeks. That this is that this has happened, uh, coinciding with the the excavation. So they're clearing out stuff. That's not good. Um, all right. Uh, let me come back to you, William. Let me have you make a, another uh, detect traps check. All right. That won't be a problem. Oh no, not at all. Um, and this is actually. Uh, you, you get to a spot, and it's clearly the section that they've been working on the hardest. They've bored down into what, I mean, it looks like there are monks' chambers down here, private chambers for maybe the, the, the upper uh, brethren, um, and they've clearly 
tunnel down into one. And as you come up to it, you will see that they've clearly set uh, a, a trap here to bring the whole thing down. Whoa, is that something I think would be... I mean, have they been clever about it or obvious about yeah, it? A, this, is, this is very hard for you to spot. It was a DC-25, um, so it was a very tough trap, but you did spot it. Does it look like it's easy to circumvent, or do we need to dodge it? You could circumvent it, or you could attempt to disarm it. Um, what's it look like from a disarm perspective? Uh, it's 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 again going to be it's going to be a tough one um, because they've got things balanced there. Do we have anything we can use to counterbalance? Like what? Uh, what well, do you have? It's got rubble. Do we have? I don't know. A uh, piece of wood, a door frame, anything that can be pulled so that we could jut it up against where, like, a counter to where the balance is going to occur. Okay. You, uh, so if you it falls. Okay. You, you mentioned that there were uh, cross beams that were that fell. Mm -hmm. Cross beams are big, they're, and even if they're charred, there's probably still some integrity there. We could probably use that. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. So, uh, uh, what I'll do is I'll have uh, Micah um, make like a strength check to get the crossbeam in place. Now, here are going to be your two options on that. So, the crossbeams can be set either that it protects you guys from damage if this thing comes down, or it will, if it does trigger, the, the, the pathway won't be blocked. Which would you prefer? Uh, the pathway not be blocked. All right. Uh, so <laughs> I hate to say it, but that's kind of the goal. <laughs> Giving Lowell the option for a total party kill. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Micah. Uh, let's have you make a strength check. Um, I am. Uh, for hauling here. Um, All right. Okay. So it will take you a little bit of time to to get it into place. Um, but you don't roll uh, a one or a two, so you don't trigger the trap uh, while okay. doing that. Um, but you will get it set so that it will do that. All right. Now, you will carefully bend down, William, and uh, do your disarm traps. Dexterity. Is that your total? Um... I guess without the plus two, so yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, you will get it mostly disarmed, but uh, as you kind of are setting it, there is uh, a break in the ceiling and uh, essentially rocks fall. Um, so, uh, everybody is going to take just a simple low amount of damage. Everybody's going to take nine points from that. Ow. Sorry, guys. Imagine that it kind of shakes, and, and the, the whole structure here is a little iffy. But nobody's going to trigger off this, um, and the, the hallway remains intact so the, the group can move through. Okay. Uh, at this point, yes. At this point, I think I'm going to, uh, just because I'm going to actually do a recovery. Okay because I'm still kind of down from last time, so... Ooh, yeah. look at okay. that. I, no, I no, as I'm not. well. <laughs> okay. Arendelle's going to take a recovery as well. These are the words that make me happy. Ooh, 31. <laughs> Jesus wept, you guys. Um, all right, so uh, uh, you guys will, will, will brace yourselves and, and rally and proceed down. And it, it looks like this enters into... Uh, a what would have been a, a monk's chamber. Um, there's there's rubble around, bits of 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 like you guess clothing and uh, uh, papers and and the, you know the classic scroll works and things. And you can see when you get down into this, and it's kind of kind of tight once you do that. Uh, uh, it looks like. There was some sort of uh, section of the floor, like a hidden compartment, 
uh, and that's been pulled away, and whatever was in there has been been lifted out and taken. How big a section? Uh, it looks like it would have been like a maybe a, uh, let's say a wooden box that might have been a, a maybe like a two feet by a foot and a half. You're guessing, you know, a, 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 a substantial box. It looks like would have been uh, uh, tucked down in there. Is there anything else that survived? all the chaos in this room uh clothing bits of paper scroll work that kind of thing it looks like when they came in they didn't care about the rest of whatever was here uh they were just aiming for the box so can i look at the scroll i mean i'm basically i'm looking for any information that might tell us what they actually took all right uh you will will be able to pull some papers together um uh, and uh, it looks like it's in some kind of weird code or language. I'll hand it off to Winter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, take a look at these. I don't know what they say. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Uh, so, Winter, you will look at this. Um, and, uh, you actually can, can see that it, it corresponds to some of the, uh, markings you saw above, uh, the Diabolist, uh, uh, language there. Um, and, uh, Irindel, as you're kind of looking over, you will recognize from your experience, uh, battling the Diabolist, that this is a very simple, uh, cipher very easy to, 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 to translate. It's almost the pig Latin of Diabolist codes. Even even I can probably figure out that then. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I assume you guys are going to kind of look through this? Of course. Yes. Okay. Um, then let me have two people who believe that they are appropriate for scholarship and, and reading of these things, make sort of int checks to, to pull together information out of the scattered pieces. Who is the second person besides Winter who will make this check? Hoping Arendelle. I'll do it, but it's not going to be a very good <laughs> roll. Oh, right. Valis will shine on you. Let's gotta, do it. Okay. Gotta, you got to be lucky sometime, right? I'm trying to think of a skill that's even going to apply here. Uh, I guess the itinerant warrior nun of the Cathedral Seraphim. That seems so. right. All right. So, let's see. Yeah. So, not that great. Um, you're having some trouble putting together. Um, uh, winter, I, I hate to ask you this. I don't really want to ask you this, but are you are you are you using your knowledge thing? Oh, I can't. I already used it. Remember? I thought it was perception. It, no, it's um, it's per, the knowledge. The twenty roll thing is per day. Oh, oh, good. It's once per day. That's why I remember. <laughs> that's why I was saying, are we going to sleep before we go? Oh out? no. <laughs> <laughs> so then I used it in the temple, and then I used it, I believe, the next day at the Standing Stones. All right. So, so you're clear on that one. <laughs> so between you guys, uh, uh, looking over this uh, uh, kind of as the, the 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 light globes are are floating around and you're you're pulling the pieces together, a lot of it is torn. There's some parts that look like they might be like markers of some kind, like maybe star charts or something. It's hard to to read on those. They're so damaged. Um, there's some other drawings that because of uh, uh, the age and stuff, you can't see what they are. They might have been sketches of something. Um, but here is the basic story that you will get out of this. This is clearly the diaries and, and uh, notes of a senior monk from the monastery. Um, and the, the earliest bits, you can tell, talk about dreams and visions he's been given, been gifted, you can read the signs of someone who is 
that the Diabolist is reaching out to. Uh, maybe already dark of soul before they came here, but the Diabolist is using them. Um, and you can see patterns of that. Um, and then notes that he's found something, he's discovered something about this place, um, that he's learned the secret, and that the time has to be right to bring about uh, 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 the slumbering thing. Um, there, there's some other notes about him trying to bring some of the other brothers in, including a, at least one case where he tries to bring someone in uh, to his circle and fails, and so he has to murder that person. Um, and then you'll start to see a little more panic in the notes, the suggestion that there's uh, an old crusader monk uh, on the grounds who's beginning to suspect something. Um, and then sort of the next section is uh, uh, kind of scrawled, sort of frustrated that uh, his plans for now have been blocked. Uh, the Diabolus has given him uh, a draught, a potion uh, to put into uh, uh, the monastery's uh, water into the wine uh, that will drive them to madness uh, and finish them off. And this monk says, uh, I will have to go and I will have to wait for the next chance when things align in the future. And that's what you get. Questions or follow-ups? So apparently things, things are aligning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And slumbering things, you're waking. That's not good either. Yeah. This doesn't sound very good, does it? <laughs> William wholeheartedly agrees. I guess we're not going to be drinking any of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink the water. Uh, so, yeah, the, the, that's that's the, the basics of what you can get out of this. I assume you'll kind of roll things up and... and and pack it away as best you can. Yeah. Yes. Um, anything else? Um, there were no other hidden compartments in here, were there? I'll oh. actually check. Okay, let's have you make a uh, detect secret doors, secret compartments check. Oh, burglar skill. They always try to hide those things. Oh, uh, yeah, actually you'll find uh, uh, what looks like uh, uh, another sort of, not actually a compartment, but it's been, it was clearly tucked away uh, uh, under the uh, a bed, sort of in a case. You will see that there's a, a kind of a sketch map of the area, and based on your knowledge, it looks like it marks out where the various standing stones are. Um, uh, so that's clearly important. Um, and there's also looks like a, uh, there's a, a horrible uh, uh, demonic looking uh, necklace in there that looks magical. Ooh. <laughs> put it on. Put it on. <laughs> Wait, I've already got an opal necklace on. You can't wear two necklaces. Just no, you can't wear two necklaces. <laughs> must be destroyed. <laughs> it's clearly let, a Diabolus influence. Yeah, I will, I will let one of the more Diabolist y people take a look at that okay <laughs> hey look what i found i don't want to touch it <laughs> as you pick it up on you know using the point of your dagger right <laughs> yeah somebody give me a pencil yeah it's kind of a horrible spiky thing um uh, uh that you you pick up and has that kind of uh, feel of uh, a gift from the diabolist but why would the monk leave it it's a trap yeah that's what i'm thinking of course, we don't have a wizard that can detect anything unless Shakan can, can gauge something from magical items. I mean, is it is it potentially that Winter might have seen something about something like this in the archives? Mm, sure, let's have you make a roll. Okay, because Winter doesn't really want to put this one on. This whole area needs to just be burned down and scoured clean. Mm. Well, it already has once. 
well, they didn't do a good enough job. Um, when you, you look at it, it, it looks like it is uh, uh, something that we, you would use to kind of uh, uh, perhaps envenom someone who wore it. Um, uh, uh, have the sense that, that maybe this is part of his devices to pollute and corrupt the other monks. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, okay. yeah, it looks bad. He must have been a charming person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, he's my best friend. Exactly. I w- I'd say we wrap it up and put it somewhere where it won't touch you. Okay. Mm-hmm. It might be, we might be able to use it against harpies. Yeah. <laughs> Throw it at them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Micah, Shikan, anything you're doing down here I should know about? I was just going to hold out a bag and wrap up the necklace and put it in the bottom of my pack with a few other things that we're not using. Okay. In the, the pack of bad things. Yes. All right, and Micah, anything? I'm just kind of sitting around, keeping an eye on things, making sure we aren't, you know, ambushed and muttering to myself about purging the Diabolus taint. Yeah. You're, you're, you're pretty sure you want to want to come back and collapse this whole thing when uh, all is said and done. Um, so I assume this seems to be the, 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 the sort of dead end of the, the, the monastery path, so I assume everybody will head back up? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, you'll get uh, back up. Uh, you'll find uh, Master Cherik uh, is sort of perched uh, up at the top and away, kind of keeping lookout, uh, making sure that nothing followed you guys uh, down the staircase or no other other uh, gargoyles or harpies showed up. Um, and uh, uh, he will say, uh, "Did you did you find uh, anything in there?" Michael would say, Diabolus taint. Ugh. He makes a gesture, wards himself, and he'll say, uh, where, where to now? Perhaps we should take care of these bandits nearby. Follow the, yeah, follow the, follow the trail. All right. Yeah. Uh, Lowell, I was going to ask, sure. did the, did the foot, the footprints we can see from the stairwell, did they go the same path as the bandits? Or is it a different set of footprints? No, this is definitely, it looks like the, the bandit's crew, uh, uh, you can put kind of matching the, the tracks and things up, that it seems to be from that direction, from that group that we're operating down here. Okay. And that coincides with what you knew, that, that they certainly had at least one person, or maybe more, that were, were in the surface of the obelisk. Mm-hmm. Right, that's what I suspected. Oh, well, this is going to get interesting. We should put an end to the nefarious plans and schemes. All right. So with with uh, uh, that righteous cause in hand, um, having uh, dealt with uh, uh, the, the, the monastery, um, you'll probably take a quick check uh, elsewhere, but you won't see anything else that seems to be of note or of attention here. Um, and so, uh, the group will begin to follow that, uh, path, uh, up. Is there anything I should know about your, uh, your, your, your travel? Do you want to go quickly? Um, uh, do you want to go stealthily? It is, it is dark, uh, getting dark. So, uh, it is, it is easier to hide a little bit. Um, is there anything I should know about how you're arranging yourselves in this? should take care considering they've left traps for us already that they've probably left more all right yeah exactly yeah and i'll i'll say that you know dodging traps at night is not the ideal situation all right so do we maybe want to do we maybe want to set up camp here before that's that's kind of where i was going do we want to try to follow them during the day or do we find this to be 
time imperative. I mean, these tracks must be relatively new because we can still see them, and it's been snowing regularly, hasn't it? Yes. Um, do we have an idea of how new? When's the last snow? Uh, the the tracks that you saw of the 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 owl bear uh, clearly it happened uh, uh, not long before you uh, uh, you guys arrived on the scene, um, uh, uh, and the other tracks may be uh, uh, older than that, day or two older than that of the most recent one. But clearly they've traversed back and forth quite a bit. I mean, I don't mind going at night. I just don't know that it's the best idea, is all I'm saying. I suggest we camp, but I'm not so certain that in these ruins would be the best place. <laughs> I second that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to camp in the ruins. Yep. Nope. Very foolish, I think. All right, so moving off uh, a ways from here then. Not following yep. now, uh, uh, but uh, but waiting and camping. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, uh, Perhaps we can ask our guide for a good location to camp. And he'll say, uh, well, we could head back uh, uh, the way we came and, uh, I mean, uh, go and and rest at my house and then come back here. Um, But it takes us away away from here. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, just, just out of curiosity, I'll ask him if he's been around here for a while. What's the weather look like? I'm not letting you screw us with a snowfall there, Lowell. Oh, okay. <laughs> he'll say, no, he'll say, it's actually, uh, he looks up at the sky, says, actually, it's uh, strikingly clear tonight. Hasn't no, been this clear in a while. Doesn't look very likely that we'll have a snow or any kind of precipitation? He'll say, no, no, uh, uh, strangely calm. Do the stars and the planets look like they're aligning to any of the uh, drawings we had? Wow, that's very tough given the the sketchy nature uh, of what you have there. Um, Why don't you make uh, an intelligence check there? Okay. It's not bringing up a dialogue. There we go. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not at all. Nope. Just doesn't remind there, me of anything. Nope. Nope. There's stars in the sky? What's up? You're not even sure it's a star map anymore. <laughs> you think it might be some kind of Diabolus connect the dots thing that they were doing? Sure. You know, it's, it's somebody's freckles. Yeah. Uh, he'll say we can... And uh, 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 Cherik will say we can do that, or we could head on and try to find uh, uh, shelter in the pass a little further on. Let's let's try the latter. I don't want to spend half a day backtracking. Exactly. Okay. Um, And he'll say, well, yeah, we'll we'll move on on forward. And uh, he will will lead you uh, uh, that direction. Um. And uh, maybe go about uh, 15, 20 minutes a- along this gorge. Um, and in the distance, you can hear uh, a-, a kind of a roar, cry, uh, uh, um, and other sounds, uh, like loud kind of moving sounds. Uh, uh, a ways up. Are those owl bears? Yes. Does it sound like an owl bear cry? It sounds like a owl bear distress cry. All right. Um, I'm Ooh. kind of alarmed by that, so I want to sort of see what's happening. Okay. Uh. uh- Rushing forward, stealthing forward, what's your intent? Um, I'm going to probably rush forward, considering. Okay. So you, the group will see Irondel hear that sound and uh, uh, rush forward. Um, what about the rest of you? Uh, I'll rush, too. Okay. Something's going on. Yeah, I'll follow as well. 
All right. Me. <laughs> so to keep pace, you see a chair go up, up and, you know, uh, pick up the pace to, to, to keep up with you. Um, Irindel, let me have you make a simple uh, sort of dexterity survival check for kind of running running through the, the snow and, and uh, 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 rocky area here in uh, uh, fairly dark, uh, though the moon is out, so it does does give you some light. Um, uh, let's say... Oh, I rolled in one. <laughs> All right. Irindel. <laughs> Uh, here is what happens. Um, you are going running along, um, and you're hearing the roar more loudly, and then you realize that uh, you've kind of stepped off of something. And you will fall down this hillside. Can I grab him real quick? I would have been right there. All right. I will. You have to make a significant dexterity check to uh, uh, save Irindel from the one that Arendelle just rolled. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me try And, and Lowell, theoretically, wouldn't William, William and Winter, um, I'm assuming that in 13th Age they can see in the dark? Yes, they can. So they might have been able to anticipate this and might be able He's, to help Arendelle? Well, the, but the one would suggest that... Uh, I'll, give, I'll give you a plus, plus two circumstance bonus to uh, uh, William's uh, attempt. How about that? Does that seem reasonable? Sure. Okay. Um, All right. So two circumstance bonus. So you get a plus two circumstance bonus as as winter uh, cries out that uh, uh, need to grab uh, uh, Irindel. All right. Let me roll a d twenty. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get another critical fail. Three. Oh <laughs> well, it wasn't a critical fail, but it certainly wasn't a success. All right. I need you to hang on just one second here, uh, <laughs> and uh, let me kind of set some things up. I don't suppose Aaron. anybody has Featherfall. <laughs> That's what we need that wizard for. The wizards are actually kind of cool with all those... Oh, the utility spells are awesome. Take. Yeah. Yeah, those things are ridiculous. I was just reading it a couple days ago. Okay, let me go and grab something. So just one second. Let's see if I have any invocations that might help. <laughs> We're always or, praying to the that God of luck again. We I know. We really need it now. Well, it all happens for the better. If you're going to fall down something, we're probably going to find something useful. I'm already starting my eulogy for him. Okay. Poor Arendelle. <laughs> <laughs> the last poor Arendelle, I knew him well. I sure hope it's not that white dragon eating the owl bear. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing when I heard that that I thought of. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. I, I think if it were a white dragon, it would have gotten a lot colder. Well, I got that necklace on. I wouldn't have noticed. Ah, That's <laughs> right. true. Lol is evil, but I don't even think he's that evil. No, no. Well, dragons oh. dragons are, are 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 bad, but they're not the worst thing. Um, there are worse things out there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, speaking thanks. of which, um, <laughs> so I'm going to describe the scene to you, uh, uh, Irindel, um, and then I'm going to show you the scene as a map. Um, so you will come down this this sort of a cliffside, maybe 30 feet of sliding and stone. Um, and you picked up your pace at the end because you heard uh, the, the, the loud cry of this. And you slide down and you'll smash uh, into the, the bottom of this, the, this cliff. And you'll see it's a snowy area around. You can see that there's more uh, rocks and stone. And it looks like there's some sort of uh, cave off to uh, the left of you. But what grabs your more of your attention is you will see around here a number of those bandits um, and some other darkened figures. Um, and you can see that there is this 20-some foot tall stone thing. Uh, and it is swinging 
at the Owlbear. Um, and the bandits and the other things that are there just seem to be watching and laughing. Um, and in the distance from the cave, you'll hear what you'll recognize as the sound of Owlbear cubs. Aww. So now I am going to show you the map. That's Lowell just pulling Irondale's strings, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, can I have everyone roll initiative? I'll let you let me get that the initiative counter up. And you can let me clear the old one out. And I'll add turns for everyone. Holy crap. Turn. Wow. Add turn. And turn. Did somebody roll really high? Micah. <laughs> Got a 33. Wow. The time, 25. Guess Micah's going first. Yeah. Wait, where can't I find my initiative roll? There it is. Of course, I would use a 20 on something like that. Whew, I got a critical. Wow, you guys are crazy. <laughs> Not me, I'm only the rogue. I'm the slowest guy here. <laughs> <laughs> You're cautious. Yeah, that's what it is, cautious. So, Lowell, I'm assuming I took some damage from the fall. Uh, I am going to say uh, sure. that uh, the putting yourself in the danger of this situation is probably humiliation enough for you. <laughs> um, I'm, I will will give you a, a uh, let's say, a, a, uh, well, no, I'm not going to do that. You guys are, 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 are here and... Uh, and... and well, I don't know, let's see, dust demons. That's interesting. Um, so we're also above them, aren't we? Yes, you are. Greyhelm, what was your initiative? 33. Holy capoli. So, Greyhelm, uh, uh, you're sort of the first to react as you realize that there are combatants down below. Um, and they don't see you guys up top, but all of them. And I mean all of them, except for the stone thing, turn and see Arendelle come sliding down uh, the slope. And you will hear uh, this one over here, the night speaker, go, it's the paladin. <sighs> Arendelle does like her entrances. <laughs> okay. So, um, Greyhelm, not being the most brightest bulb in the drawer will uh, see bad guys know that a friend is in danger so he will take the shortest route to try to beat on things so right. chances are I will try to as skillfully as possible get to the bottom of the cliff okay so this is going to be a tough dexterity check um, if you succeed with style you'll be able to engage them otherwise uh, you'll just be able to get down there, and if you really muck up, you're going to take some damage and be uh, helm first in the snow. Now, can I use my uh, experience as a soldier, you know, going through training, on traveling over tough terrain in combat uh, to help uh, me down this uh, cliff? Absolutely. You, you've traveled over the, the rough terrain fighting against the Diabolist. Let's have you make that roll. Okay. Could I... Do you really want to climb down, or could you definitely <laughs> jump down on them? Oh, that's okay. okay. I, I jumped down. Yeah, All right. Not a problem. Greyhound um, leaps off, <laughs> uh, and uh, you will see him uh, go sailing down, uh, and uh, he will hit the bottom of the slope and take 16 points of damage, Ouch. and you will hear awesome. the crack as his shoulder kind of gives, uh, and he'll kind of roll uh, uh, uh just dazed up to his feet. Okay. Yeah, I meant, I meant to do that. Winter. Okay, I'm just checking to see if there's anything I can do to help. <laughs> yeah, we're all start doing so well. Um, <laughs> there must be a reason for this. Valis has a plan, I'm sure. Um, okay, but we're up high, which is to my advantage. So, who looks in the most danger from my group well i would say there there are three of these bandits with blades and bows that are going to set upon Greyhelm, though he is armored 
Um, the stone thing doesn't look uh, like it's going to do anything but but bad at this owlbear. You're not sure about the other thing. So uh, of the two, Irindale or Greyhelm, Greyhelm is in most danger. Okay. And I'm assuming the bandits are minions? They are what we might call mooks. Mooks. Okay. Um, then I'm going to use the my new upgraded javelin of uh, faith. All right. And what I'm hoping is going to happen is that rocks are going to fall on them from all of us going down the cliff and whatnot that maybe we'll get lucky. Excellent. That seems like a good thing. Hang on. I'm going to mute this while my phone rings. How did I do? I can't even see the ring. a 23. Yeah. Hopefully that's good enough. These are just bandits. Oh, yeah. yeah. With hope. Uh, all right. So uh, that will definitely hit the PD, and uh, uh, you will see the, the, the rocks that came down. This bandit over here starts to step towards Greyhelm, uh, and one of the rocks that he uh, uh, knocked down is huge, and it will mow over this bandit and uh, kill him. Um, and another one will be uh, hit by some of the rocks in the fall there. Seem good? Works for me. All right. Crush. There's probably a crunching sound as he goes under. Um, Shikan. Oh, and I've done the, my invocation okay. as a free action or, or whatever it is, a quick action. Oh, the, um, so, you know, the one of the way I have to wait for the die roll. So let me make the die roll. Okay. Shikan, you might be muted. I was, but I'm not there. Okay. Uh, I, I um, oh, yeah. sing my song of heroes uh, for this turn. So everyone gets a plus one attack bonus. All right. So they, can, they can all hear me singing. Uh, and I'm going to shoot at the night speaker. All with right. my bow. AC of 22. Okay. Can't promise anything, but I might as well give it a go. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that wow. seems impossible. That's that a critical. Um, uh, you put 25, which is, is more than more than you would have gotten, but uh, we'll take the critical, right? That out, but, but, yeah, sure. Well, it's a critical roll. Yep. Something wrong with my character sheet that I need to fix, obviously. So, so 34 so, points of damage, right? Ah, uh, there we go. There's a mis there's a mysterious eight that's got on the sheet by accident. I don't uh, know how that happened. So you take a, 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 a stray shot, not hoping for much, and you will see it sink into uh, uh, the neck of this night speaker. Um, and it was, it was sort of looking at Irondale heading that way, but now it's like, okay... And it's looking around to see where the shot came from. Mm -hmm. um, and this thing will have to move over here to engage, but will not be able to attack on this round. The night speaker uh, will look and uh, it will... Da, da, da. I can only do that once, but let's see. What is your PD right now, Shikan? Uh Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. Um, get that down. Twenty plus. And it will raise up what looks like a wand... Uh, and it will let loose uh, with a bolt of, of darkness that hits you. And you will take 20 points of damage. Mm -hmm. But it's odd, so no extra effect on that. It's uh, a one-time, but no disappointing. Uh, so hit you, hit you solidly in the, the, the center there. William, you see all of this. Hold on just a second. I have a little girl asking for favors. Okay. <laughs> that didn't sound... Yeah. That did, no. <laughs> Let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So what did that look like? The attack from the wand? Uh, it, it raised it up, and you will see this this bolt of, of shadowy darkness fly across and strike Shikan. And it's it, it it actually, when it hits you, Shikan, it feels like kind of burning cold uh, across mm-hmm. there. And uh, uh, you can tell it is definitely infernal. All right. Sorry about that. That's okay. Um, I am going to... Well, heck, I probably could have done this. I'm just going to go ahead and pop into shadow as a way to move down safely and hopefully get something happening. Okay. Next turn. The closest MD to you, is, that's the highest, is a 14. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. So oh, you are shadowed up. All right. Irindel, you shake it off and you see all of this. All right. Um, as a uh, free action, I enact Halo. Okay. As a uh, swift action, I'm going to do cast Hammer of Faith. Okay. And then I'm going to charge forward and smite this dust demon. All right. Uh, it is. It's. It is almost like like. Uh, uh, it's hard to see a little bit because it, it, it just it looks like dust with the snow kind of swirling around it. It has that human form, um, and it's it glid across the, the snow um, uh, at Greyhelm. It has an AC, uh, hard to see, of 24. And plus one for the... Yes. Song of Heroes. Oh. Uh. But you will do miss damage? Yeah. Um, so Smite does... Half damage of the miss. So oh, okay. So 18. 18. Wow, that's pretty good. That's still... Uh, uh, you will, will uh, swing uh, through it and uh, definitely draw its attention as you, you kind of uh, uh, clip it. Uh, the bandits. Um, these two... We'll move on to Greyhelm. Greyhelm, what is your AC? 23. 23. Hold on. Actually. Might be more. Yes, 23. Okay. One will hit uh, for six points. Uh, And another will hit for six points. Um, Bandits will... Other ones will move up. Uh, They will draw out bow... Uh, let's say, uh, Irondale, what's your AC? 28. Miss. And the other one will miss. And we're going to take one shot at Winter. <laughs> She's the closest of the, the targets there. What is your AC, Winter? Oh, it's nothing like Irondale's, of <laughs> course. Which is why you thought, Lil probably decided it was time. <laughs> yes. Um, 19. And it will miss. Oh, and look at that. I get to curse it. All right. So, That's a four. All right. So we'll say uh, that uh, this bandit's uh, uh, bow breaks uh, uh, as it twangs off, and we'll say that essentially these two, the, the bandits, the orange and the purple, as he falls into his friend, will lose their ranged attacks. Does that seem reasonable? Works for me. Okay, Sounds nice. I'll put that on there. So I do some curse. That. That's a good one. So he's not going to be firing a bunch of arrows up at you. The owlbear in this stone thing, essentially, the owlbear is clearly trying to get past the stone thing, and the stone thing seems to have been its its mission seems to be to keep the owlbear from going forward. Uh, and so you're you're hearing that that sort of cue and cry, um, and that thing. Let me add here. Little, yes. Do we have any indication if somebody's controlling the stone thing? Is it like a stone golem? Um, come back to me on your on your action, okay. uh, which I think is pretty high, and uh, uh, I will answer that. How's that sound? That works. Okay. All right. We come to the next turn, Greyhelm. That first turn was an ignominity um, for you. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't my finest hour, definitely. But uh, but now you have delicious targets around you. What, that is true. What is your action? I'm actually going to uh, 
attack the red bandit. Okay. Um, because I have a feeling that Arendelle is going to be able to take out that dust demon, but I just want to clean up these guys hopefully quickly. So that is my thing. So. All right. You need to hit a 20 to hit them. You have a plus one from okay. Shakan's assist. I rolled and nothing happened. One second. Sure. Might take a second to resolve. There you oh, go. Oh, there it is. Um, so you've got a, a plus one from Shakan and a plus mm -hmm. one from uh, the Escalation yes. die. So that is so going to be... Yeah. So it would actually be an 18. Okay. Uh, so you're going to be just short, sir, on that. <sighs> Uh, so you will clip them. They are still kind of pressing in on you. You're just getting up to your feet. You can't quite got your balance on you yet. Winter, um, I will let you make an intelligence check for me. Okay. Do you want me to use Citadel Archivist or Treasure Hunter of the Dwarf King? Treasure Hunter, I think, this time. Okay. Uh, so you will note that there that some of those runes, like you saw before on the other uh, uh, standing stones, seem to be carved into the back of this stone thing. Um, I mean, and it isn't like a golem; it's like bits of rocks assembled together. Um, and you suspect that there is that someone is definitely magically controlling this or or keeping it in line um and as you're kind of looking at it and i'll show you a a, a picture of of it just so you can get a sense of what it looks like here copy uh, that's what it looks like um and uh, it looks to you like it's sort of made up of the same stones as the standing stones are. <laughs> Not perhaps made out of the crumbled sand standing stones? It might, in fact, be. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, so it is your action then, Winter, as you realize that. Okay, realizing that, um, I'm just going to take a gamble that it's the night speaker that's doing this. And she is going to use... Um, her spirits of the righteous. Okay. Um, on the night speaker. Oh, let's see. It's one nearby enemy. Is that considered nearby? That is not nearby. <sighs> it's down a slope and across the field. There, I'm going to say. Okay, then backing off on that one. Um, well, actually, javelin of faith has to be nearby also. So that's. Oh, we would have given that to you. Uh, no, you were attacking <laughs> the bandits for that. So. Yeah, no, I was using the bandits for that. So that's yeah. sort of limits my options on as far as that goes. Um, you could try and move down. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. What I will do is communicate to Arendell that, say, Arendell, that stone thing is being controlled by the night speaker. That's so that she can act, or, well, Greyhelm or somebody else on the next turn. And I will use my javelin of faith against um, the dust demon. All right. Dust demon has a PD of 22. No, that's not going to help, but okay. Uh, you've got a plus two total from the Escalation Die and Chacon. Ooh, but you will hit, right? Yep. All right. Um, so, again, more rocks come cascading down. Luckily, don't strike uh, Irindel, but do smash through this dust demon uh, uh, as it's turning to engage uh, your paladin and companion. Chacon. Uh, okay. Um, first thing is sustaining the song, which is not sustained, mm -hmm. which means that, oh, uh, Micah, you get plus two for your next attack roll, but everyone else doesn't get their plus ones anymore. Okay. And then I'm going to shoot at the night speaker again. All right. Uh, again... AC-22. Yep. See, hang on how it goes. That's a miss. That will will fly by the night speaker. Yep. Okay. And my next question is, uh, 
can I move to this part of the map across this bridge which is shown, or is that absolutely? Not yeah, really and that, that doesn't even uh, uh, require a risky test. So because you can I see go... in the dark. Can I? Oh, you, okay. you are an elf, right? Or half elf? I'm a I'm a half elf. So yes. I assume that you have at least reasonably low light vision. Okay, I'll take your word for it. How far down here can I get in one move then? Uh, where I am. From you there, see. I would say, how about I'm going to ping this if you want to get okay. across the bridge and start heading down that path. Okay, uh, that's where I am then. All right, uh, Arendelle, the dust demon turns its attention to you. Um, and uh, it will actually uh, uh, let loose with a cloud of dust. Uh, so it'll target both you and Greyhelm. Uh, what is your PD, uh, Greyhelm? It is. Oh, hold on. Stupid. All right. Uh, my PD is twenty-two. Twenty-two. It does not hit with that cloud of dust. And what is your PD, Irondell? Twenty. It will hit you uh, for twelve damage. Uh, and that was even so it doesn't do the other effect on it. All right. Um, so it swings and hits you, and you'll get a mouthful of that dust, um, but it won't throw you off. Um, the night speaker will fall back, and he will do that. So we'll take that back. Uh, falls back sort of into the, the, the doorway there. Uh, William Tallfoot. All right. How far can I make it? Uh, now, what is the, the, the – tell me how the, the – what the, the text is for the shadow port. Um, you gain shadow walk as a move before you engage. You can make it a – against the blah 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 hit. returning anywhere nearby that you could have moved to normally okay mm, I will say you could hit the the stone you could hit the dust demon you could hit uh, either of the bandits well let's do something simple I will come down here because I do more damage with something that's engaged with a, something all right I will pop here okay and attack the dust demon. All right. Uh, the dust demon uh, has an AC of 24, but you've got a uh, plus one from the escalation die. Right. So let me do a shortcut. So... And if you say AC 24? 24. Well, let me try that again. I okay. Could, I could do a reroll. All right. I think that was... Can't hurt. Always, always worth a try. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So you will do 12 points, though. With Actually, you. I'll, I'll do 24. Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, so this thing is staggered uh, with that hit. Uh, strong strike to it. Um, uh, Irondel. All right. I'm going to smite one more time on the dust demon. So. Oop. Oh, let me go and grab another Shikan um, token. Hang, hang on. I missed again. Um but uh, this time, it does 18 points of damage. Okay, hang on one second. I've got to grab another Shikan. We'll miss this thing to death. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> your misses do more damage than my hits. <laughs> and I've got an invocation that I can that can double your miss damage, actually. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's, so do I. That's, oh, so do I. Oh, that is great. Yeah, throw that out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can. So how much damage was that? 18. 18, um, it is down. Um, you will hit it, smite it, and it's just kind of with that, that, that edge of your, your strike, but it will dissipate 
when you impact into it. All right. I want to charge across to one of the other bandits if I'm unengaged. Okay. Can I get that far? Uh, sure. I'll say that you can move over to uh, one of these, either the orange or the purple dude. Okay. Um, shadowed bandits. Um, Greyhelm, your AC? 23. 23. Okay. One, two, neither of them hit. Uh, uh, what's your AC, Arendelle? Only 26. Okay. Oh, no. Only 26 is no. that what I heard? <laughs> um, yes, and the, the bow shot. No. So these two rush up on you. Uh, again, they look like, like the bandits that you saw before, but... There's, you can see that the shadows kind of play across them. Something has happened to them. Something has changed them. And they will swing these blades at you. The other one goes and fires a bow, but you will turn all of that aside without a problem. And on 11. Is it a night singer or an... Oh, that's somebody new. Yes. Uh, he will emerge and engage the situation. Um, and Albert and Stone continue uh, their uh, clash there, and we go to Escalation Die 2. Shikan, did you put your initiative back in? No, I haven't. Sorry. It's oh, 25. 25. Okay, let me put that in, and then we'll I'll get that gauge running. Okay. Escalation die is two, uh, and we begin with Greyhelm the Speedy at the top of the round. Well, one can only hope that I can roll higher than a two this time. Mm-hmm. AC 20. So, but I also get a plus two from Shakan. Mm-hmm. And a plus two from the Escalation. <laughs> Barely. So how much damage? Uh, uh, that'd be 27. 27 points of damage. So yeah. you will I rolled a three. Okay. <laughs> so, 33. so you will swing this blade across and you will bring down both of them. And that's an axe, right? Yes it is. Yeah, you cleave I've, cleave both of them yeah, down. I, they drop. I have cleave anyway, so that's oh. cool. Um any other actions I should know about? Um yeah, uh, since everyone else is rushing across the place, I am as well. So can I get to this guy? Yes. All right. He will think that he shouldn't have his bow out anymore. All right, Winter on 30. Okay, Winter is going to move, because I don't think anybody's in range anymore. So how far can she get? I guess she could get over here, potentially. Uh, uh, ping where you're going? Yeah, you can get right behind Chacon easily. Okay. Um, and is anybody within range then for a javelin of faith? Perhaps this one or this one, because I'm I'm not sure who would be visible to me. Is yeah, this one I would say you could you could fire it into the shadowed bandits that are on uh, Arendelle without a problem. Okay, okay, then I'll take a shot at one of those. Okay, PD nineteen. That should be doable. So that's yep. twenty two points of damage. Um, so uh, these things are fighting here. Um, and you'll hear a crack as one of these sort of frozen trees comes crashing and falls on this bandit, crushing him, and the other one kind of st staggers back from the hit there. And Irondel, you have only one opponent on you now. Shikana, 25. Who might be muted. Uh, it, I was. I've was undone that first thing to do um okay i'll um i'm gonna move first all right i don't i don't have a song going so that's easy enough i'm gonna go down here behind greyhelm and Irondel, and i'm going to use the Chaos Bolt at the Night Singer. Okay. Is my target. Uh, is uh, so. Is that PD or MD? It's PD. P 
TD. Well, 15 is what you need. Got it. Doing 23 points of random energy. All right. Which is I'll just roll now. And that would be uh, fire damage. All right. And that was an odd roll. So that's okay. So you'll let that fire uh, out onto this thing. It looks like this might have once been one of the bandit leaders. He is just encased in shadow, and you'll hit him and kind of staggers back from that, that hit. Excellent. And then last on the table, whoops, is this grabbing this. Um, You will see another one of these dust demons emerge from the caverns, and uh, it has one of these uh, owlbear cubs in its clutches. The night speaker will, uh, let's see, uh, what is your PD, John? 22. 22. That's pretty good. Let's see what I can do against that. I can hit. So... Yeah, uh, he uh, uh, throws shadows at you. Uh, it will 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 uh, strike you. Uh, you're going to take uh, ten points of damage, um, and you are stuck, uh, meaning that you can't move from that spot until you make a save. Cool. I will mark that with. A little web marker. Okay, uh, so he fires that off. Uh, William. Okay. Well, guess what? This stone thing looks like it's hurt, damaged by the owl bear at all. It's taken some scratches. Yeah. It looks like the the stone thing is fairly resilient. To, to certainly to physical damage. Yeah. Trying to see if I can't figure out a way to... The owlbear is just trying to get past it, right? Yeah. It looks like it's trying to get to the cave to protect its cubs. Right. Okay. I'm going to move down here. All right. And... I don't know if this will work or not, but I'm going to sure. try a slick, a, uh, slick faint on it. Okay. The idea is to daze the stone thing so that the owl bear can get by. Because I have a feeling I know exactly where it's going to go with the thing that's holding a cub right now. Okay. Uh, that seems like an interesting idea. Let us have you make that attack roll. Escalation die two. Escalation die is a two. But it's versus MD. Versus that's just to, to that's just to daze it. Oh, okay. So to, to just to daze it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the the that will hit against his MD. Um, since it's not against AC, his resist doesn't come into effect. Um, so it is dazed. All right. The second attack would be against the second target, technically, but since there is none, I'm not worried about that. Okay. Uh, so let me... Although I would have hit it the hell out of it. Yeah, you would have. <laughs> um, then we'll put the little dazed marker there. Uh, and the stone thing will stagger back, dazed, from that shot. Irindel. All right. I'm going to, uh, at this point do my uh, invocation for vengeance, uh, which is going to give us all uh, double our level to miss damage added. Ooh, nice. Yeah. That's a quick action, and then I'm going to attack the bandit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm rolling horribly. That will not uh, hit, but how much miss damage do you do then? 
Okay, I only do... This is not a smite. I only do... Uh, think a second. Four plus double my level, so 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage is just enough to kill this thing off, actually. Because it had a missed damage on it already, so it will drop. Alright, I'm going... Can I get between the Night Speaker and Night Singer to engage the Dust Demon? Because obviously I'm troubled by this too. The, the cup being carried off, or is it... Sure. Accept? Though you know what is going to happen in just a moment yeah. is that Owlbear get out of the way. is going to come rushing over there. Well then, I will keep the path clear, but I'm going to... Let's see who goes first. Owlbear goes before the... I'm going to engage the Night Singer then to the side. Okay, go uh, dashing over there. The Night Singer has already taken a hit from Chacon. Um, AC of 21 on its next thing, but you already did your attack, so you will go up and engage it. Uh, this last Shadowed Bandit um, will take a shot at you, John, and will miss. The Night Singer will turn to engage you, Um uh, what is your AC? That's Arendelle? Yes. Okay, my AC is 26. Okay. You see it reach out and it reaches forward to, to smash its hand uh, into your uh, uh, breastplate there. And it will hit. Uh, and it doesn't crit, um, but it will do 18 damage. And oh. it... You shake from this thing when it hits you, the kind of a, a, a rumbling force as it, it, it smashes into you. Um, there's probably marks on your breastplate from that hit. The Owlbear. All right. Um, and we'll just make a quick uh, attack with the Owlbear. All right, so the owlbear is all over this dust thing, uh, 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 claws out, tearing through, um, uh, pushing back this thing, and the cub will kind of go pop free uh, over there. Um, the stone thing is dazed, uh, and uh, it will try... Uh, let me see, what are its options here right now? Let me think... How can I hurt Dusty the worst? Let's see. It's dazed. It's dazed. It's at minus, does, minus four it. to its attacks. It will try and swing at you. Oh, uh, yay. Okay. Um, let's do that then. So it is only rolling this. What is your AC? 19. 19. It will miss, and when it misses, it hits that tree that's next to you, and it sends that tree flying. <laughs> Cracks it across, snow goes flying everywhere, you hear the reverberation of it. Um, it's also kind of turning like it, like it, it, it still wants to get over there uh, to the owlbear. Um, and it will shake off the days with its save there. All right, Damn. Escalation Die is a three. Micah, Greyhelm, you lead off the batting order. Okay, what kind of save am I making to against this? Uh, so uh, after you take your action, uh, oh, okay. you, you'll, you'll do a, a save there unless you have something that allows you to take a save immediately. Nope, okay. So I just want to see how that worked. Okay, I do have Carbon Opening in effect, which has opened up my crit range because I had a... Uh, natural even roll last time. So. Excellent. Or actually not natural odd, so I'm going to try to hit this guy. All right. Uh, roll to hit. Yeah, I think I hit him. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's a critical, actually, yes. at that point. Um, in, in fact, uh, had there been uh, uh, other shadowed bandits on there, you would have sliced them all down uh, uh, as they are mooks. Um, and they will go go flying. He is he is he is a greasy smear across the snow there from that Excellent. hit. Now you uh, may make your save. You need an eleven plus to break the stuck. Uh, a strength or nope. It's just a straight d twenty for saves. Unless oh, you awesome! Have, unless you have something that gives you a bonus. 
Nope, okay. So, I am rolling. So, that will not uh, work. You'll feel that that uh, shadow is still holding you in place. Okay. Winter. Okay, Winter is going to rush down using her her spear to make sure that she doesn't slip. Okay. Like everybody else has. Okay. <laughs> um, how far down can she go? I can say you get down next to Shikan and Greyhelm. Okay. Um, so that gives me a line of sight. Are these, con- are they, is anybody considered nearby of the enemies? Oh yeah. Now they're, now they are all nearby. Oh, all nearby. And <laughs> so was there, who did I think was controlling the stone? You were thinking the night speaker? Probably. Night speaker, but, but do we, so is there any indication, do I see anything ongoing that makes it seem like she's controlling them? She, he, I can't really tell from that. Uh, I I think in the chaos of this given what you rolled before you're you're you you you're 50/50 on that. You you think that that's probably the person? Okay. Um then I'm going to use the uh what you call it the spirits of the righteous on that. Okay. Oh man. We've got more critical fails this Oof. time. <laughs> uh does it does it but it does a miss bonus to you right for you um the nearby alley with the fewest hit points gains a plus two bonus to ac until the end of your next turn yeah it doesn't do any miss damage i don't think no um all right uh uh Chacon, Greyhelm, tallfoot what are your hit points respectively right now Chacon's 35 Greyhelm. i'm sitting i'm sitting at 50 okay and tallfoot I got 41. Okay, so Shikon, you get a plus two to your AC until the end of next round. I'll play. And it is your action, in fact. Excellent. I have put that on my character sheet. I'm going to uh, nip past Greyhelm and up here and in attack the Night Speaker. All right. With my Cutlass. Excellent. Whatever. My Cutlass. And see if I can get a decent um All right. twenty three versus armor class of course. Uh AC is twenty two, so you will strike. Um does that include your bonus damage for the weapon? Yep. Okay. Uh, oh uh no, it doesn't include the extra D six. Okay. because I'm the only person engaged, right. and it's a vanity weapon. Ah, so just one more point. Right, so it gets an next one more. Extra um, point. Uh, but you certainly d- drive it back. Uh, it is staggered right now. Mm-hmm. Lovely. And I will be able to use a battle cry with that. Rolling an... Rolling a 12. Ah. Okay. Uh, someone ah okay no that's not going to work okay someone can pull it together nearby ally can roll sorry about that so I'd, one of, I'd one of my that. nearby allies can take a recovery at this point and get I'm at the at lowest hit points six. at this point. So okay. Uh, so that is it. that is for you, Arendelle. So plus D4. One X, uh, yeah. So you get the six, which I've already rolled for you, plus your recovery. So let's see. Dust demons can do that, so... That's with your six. So. Oh, lovely. Okay. And the halo comes back up. All right. Um, this thing, the uh, dust demon uh, will use its ability and it will f- rush, sort of uh, shoot away from the owlbear, um, and it will sweep along uh, Irondel and the cub. 
Uh, let me make sure it can do both of you with that. Yeah, it can grab both of you. Essentially, uh, uh, Arendelle, you're grabbed by this cloud of dust as this thing sweeps across the battlefield and uh, essentially uh, the dust demon lands over there, the cub beside it, you beside it. Um, the night speaker, let's see, engaged in melee. Staggered. Mm, staggered. It will uh, have to try and hit you Oh, it can't do that, and it can't do that, so it is left. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, uh, what is your AC, Chacon? With the plus two. Might be muted. Sorry, but 19. All right, it will take a swing at you, and it will just miss. In, you know, because of that bonus, uh, this mm -hmm. night speaker tries to hit you uh, with this wand that is is burning with that dark fire across it. William Tallfoot. All right. Well, if anybody honestly thought I was going to fight the stone thing on my own, Mister, they are crazy. The <laughs> so I will be disengaging. All right. Uh, Roland, you've got some bonuses for disengage checks, right? Yeah. All right. Whoa, yes, you will definitely disengage. I disengaged the heck out of that. Yes. Where do you want to go? Um, I'm going to go over, since I see them being swept up, over by Arendelle. Mm-hmm. And take a swipe at this dust devil as a dust demon as it comes through here. Okay. AC of that is at 24, but you have a plus 3 from the escalation die. Alright, see if I can hit anything. And your miss damage is doubled. Oh, it is? Oh, well, then I'm doing a shortcut because that ought to do tons of damage. Miss damage should be almost tripled, lol. Really? It's, it's, it's uh, double your um, level. Oh, okay, yeah. Added, added. Oh, okay. But that will but hit. hit. Okay. So you do 19 points of damage? Uh, no, plus sneak attack. So 25 points of damage. 25 plus 50. It is sticking. Um, it is barely intact. Uh, you slice into it as you kind of roll over there with your sure cut. Um, and uh, just it's starting to, to, to peel off, to fade away. Irindel. All right, I strike out at the Dust Demon. All right, AC 24. And it Yay. will explode from the, the strike there, and it uh, falls to the, essentially there's a pile of it on the ground there. Um, quick or move actions? Um, I don't want to antagonize the Alvar yet. So okay. Re-engage. Grab the cub. Stuff. If I do, the, the Alvar will probably attack me unless I can actually take time to calm it. So, oh, well, don't grab the cub? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> uh, Night Singer was hoping that you would still be at range, because then it could use a much better attack on you. But now it must, uh, again, uh, well, actually, it's going to first see if it can disengage. Which it will be able to. So it's going to sweep there um, and attempt to... Does that. Uh, so it is going to be able to do that. So it is going to uh, let loose with this torrent of shadows. Shakan, what's your PD? Fifteen. Fifteen. So it's going to hit you for uh, 18 points. And Arendelle, what is your PD? Sorry, 20. 
and it will hit you also for 18 points. Essentially, it it uh, as you come in, it it dodges out, steps back, and lets loose with the the sh shadows, and they will will sweep over you in Shikan. The owl bear, much like the honey badger, does not give a and will run over to sweep the cub up. The stone thing, though, will move and get around it. And, again, trying to keep it from going into the cave. Greyhelm, it is. Escalation die four. All right. I'm still stuck, but fortunately, uh, the Night Singer decided to come closer to me. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm out, out of bag of tricks. So I pull out one of my hand, uh, my uh, throwing axes, and I whip it at his head. All right. Night Singer's AC is a 21. All right. Yeah, Ooh. that might hit him. Okay. Is that a crit for you with your crit, um, crit range increased? Uh, actually, the crit range increased, uh, fell off last time because I rolled a crit. Oh, so. okay. Uh, so, so 20 points? Did. Yes. Okay. Um, so uh, uh, this thing kind of uh, moves out to there, fires that off, and then you will, will sink uh, this throwing axe into its side, and it will, will grab as it turns to, to see where that shot came from. Winter. Okay. Okay, Winter sees that oh, Shakan is... Hold on. The, yes. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. Can I do a uh, save? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Move? I just wanted you to be stuck more. I know. <laughs> oh, at least I'm consistent. Never mind. <laughs> All right. As you were. <laughs> Winter. Um, let's see. Shakan, would you like to be healed? Lovely, thank you. Okay, so I'll use one of my battle heals, which is your. It, you get to use your recovery, um, and so feel free to do that. So I get two of those. Um, so that will be one thing. And so Shakan will suddenly discover that his injury doesn't oh. look as bad. It, it looks much worse than it actually is. All right. Thank you. All right. Is there any bonus and to that heal? Not that I know of. Okay. I don't seem to have anything for it. Okay. And um, then, so if that's... Wait, I forgot. Was that a quick, quick I think action? that's a quick, isn't it, for you? I think it is. I'm not finding it. There it is. Yes, it is a quick action. Excellent. So I can do that, and then I can do a Javelin of Faith at the, um, the Night Speaker. Okay. Roll to hit the night speaker. AC twenty two. No. Nah. Okay. No. So, but that does miss damage. So it'd be an eight miss damage. I take it since they're doubled. Uh, well, no, it's twelve. I see. No. Additional double. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so that is uh, fifty nine. They're just taken. It is staggered uh, from that hit. Essentially, uh, uh, more rocks come cascading down and smash across it as it's trying to hit uh, Shakon, uh, who now takes his action. Mm -hmm. Cool. This collection dies for. Uh, I'm just going to try and hit it with my sword once more. Again. It's a 19. So. I don't know what its armor class is? That's probably 22. A so um, that's 12 points of damage. Actually, hold on. Would you like a reroll? Ooh. If you've got one. I've got okay. a reroll plus two from the... Because we're beyond Escalation Die 3. Excellent. So, so you remember me telling you something. Mm. Okay. Again, instead of faint right, faint left, and then you'll be have an opening. And you should get okay. plus two on this roll. Doing so right now. Excellent. So that's 20 points. Yep. A plus. Plus a D6. A D6. Oh, just... Oh. just Didn't a seem to roll. Sorry. Oh, yeah. There you four. go. So four. That's enough to take it out. Yes. Yay! And it will drop and by... By no points, it goes to zero on that shot with your vanity sword. The vanity sword is very happy. 
uh, about that and uh, says you should probably tell everyone that that's what you did. Shout it out. <laughs> Yay! Got the. And because I hit it, I can. That's that battle cry. Okay. Someone nearby can take a healing with an extra nine points. Who wishes to take that healing? Does anybody Rundell? need it? I, I'll use it if no one else, because I need it, but I don't want to go hurt it. <laughs> okay. With the plus nine. So, the Dust Devil is gone. Excellent. Thank you very much. Night Speaker cool. is gone. Wow. Uh... With, oh, and That's with the nine. Yes, excellent. Um, uh, that was Shacon William. Um, with the did we think it was the guy we just killed that was controlling the rock thing? Yes, and it's still up. Well, it hasn't acted yet, but you will see that the the sigils that are sort of glowing on its back that Winter pointed out will mm -hmm. brighten and then extinguish. Yay! You know what? This last guy's just toast. I'm just going to try to hide in shadow, and then if it happens to be around next round, we'll see what happens. All right. Uh, MD on that thing is a 18. Not a problem. All Ooh. right. You vanish into the shadows. Irondel. I re-engage the uh, Night Singer. All right. AC of 21. Yes. You will strike, run it through, and it will collapse to the ground. Um... You will see the owlbear kind of grab up the cub, and you will see this stone thing moves off and staggers and then just collapses into a heap of stones, just crashes to the ground. Kind of a, a roar it makes of pain uh, uh, as it does so, but it, it just collapses. Um the owlbear will grab the cub and will start to stalk towards you, Irondel. All right. I uh, basically try to calm the owlbear and um, give it the impression that we're friends and uh, you're here to help. Let's have you make a simple charisma check. Actually, no, that's your one true thing? No. So that is something that you know quite well. Um, you'll, you'll get the others kind of out of the way. Um, you know how to, how to, 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 to wrangle these things and it will fall back into the cave with the, the, the cubs in tow. Um, does it appear, I mean, from the map, it kind of looks like it, but does it appear that, that, that the bandits were camping in that cave? Or no, or that no, just that's just a, layer? that's just the owlbear's cave. All right. Um, if the owlbear is fairly calm... Um, I might actually go into the cave and just look around briefly, and as long as it's not agitating it too much. All right. Um, uh, all right. Let's. Uh, I will say that you can can do that. Um, when you go into the cave, it looks like there's a, 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 an old cavern, and it looks like there would have been one of these sets of standing stones in here. Um. But it's gone. Clearly turned into that stone thing outside. Um, the owlbear watches you warily as you move around. I'm basically going to take a cursory uh, look through, through the, the lair to see if there's anything of obvious value that might, might be worth trying to scavenge. If I don't see anything immediately, though, I don't antagonize the owlbear too much and I leave. All right, let me check something here. You had... Let me check your... Uh, thing here real quick. Uh, so we used that. Um, and we used that. Um, 
So yeah, you will see that, uh, weirdly enough, I mean, there's a lot of broken stuff around here, just absolutely torn and just, you know, owlbears make a mess. When they take people out, they make a mess. But you will see kind of in, in the rubbish is a pair of what looks like pristine boots. All right. Well, I'm going to pick up the boots and I'm going to uh, make a gesture of farewell to the owlbear and, and, and leave the lair. Okay. When, when you move out, it will move to the entrance of the cave and kind of settle itself in, watching the rest of you warily. Uh, while that's going on, guys, uh, while Irindel is doing that, what about Shikan, Greyhelm, Winter, and uh, William? What are you doing? Looking around, checking bodies, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, definitely bandits here. Um, some of them have the same sigils and such that you saw before. Um, but clearly, something has happened to them. They have been changed again that that weird sort of uh demonic uh impression you have on them um and probably there are a couple of these mooks that were taken down to zero uh, that are probably still alive here uh greyhelm winner i'm going to retrieve my uh throwing axe and take a breather and do a recovery okay and winter so you're saying some of the uh, mooks might actually still be alive yeah i would think so we can save at least one of them. That seems we can get information. Exactly. That's that's where I was going with that. All right. Uh, so, so we can promise we can promise to save one of them if they give us information. You want to be a good cop then? <laughs> sure. I'll be bad cop. All right. Why don't we? We'll do this as as just a, a charisma check. Uh, I was going to say, the tiefling and the half-orc yes. are playing good cop and bad cop. That's nice. <laughs> it's, it's bad cop, worse cop is what you're playing. Yes, exactly. Um, uh, so you'll pull one of these bandits. You can see that, that uh, some of the shadow that was sort of boosting him is, is gone, and maybe there's a little more sanity in his eyes there as you kind of pull him up um, and uh, just make a... Uh, a, a charisma check. I'll give you a plus two circumstance bonus for the half orc worst cop. Who do, do, That'll be you, Winter. Oh, okay. Um, so, shall I use my background as a thief? Yeah, that seems like a reasonable thing. Oh, not bad. Okay. Um, so, what do you want to know? Um, I'd like to know what. The- I'd like to, we'd like to know more about your where your lair is and what the defenses are. And he'll say... Since you're not going to need it anymore. Yeah. And I'm going to give you sort of three questions that he'll answer, okay? And he'll say, uh, there's no one there now. Uh, it's, it's, it's up the way to the maze, but there's no one there now. Second question. Um... So are there any traps or defenses we need to know about? You're coming with us, so it's in your interest. Uh, no, we're no, uh, we don't we didn't need to. Ask where they are. Oh, and where is everybody that's not in the the lair anymore? Uh, uh they they went to Denmark to meet with with the, the ward, with the Diablos ward for the ceremony. All right, I'm I'm getting a fourth question out of this guy. Okay, <laughs> I'll let you have I'll let you have one, and and then he's probably going to to pass out from the questioning. Does that seem reasonable? Yeah. Who's the, who exactly is the Diabolus Ward? Uh, the 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 one that the Diabolus sent uh, to 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 join her the 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 monk. Um, he and her the 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 in town. Uh, uh, it's, they're, they're, they're raising the old man of the mountain. That's why we had the stones. What's he look like? Uh, uh, you, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, the ritualist. We, we've seen him there, yes. 
So they're describing what's his face who does the thing with the rock. Yes. Okay. Shikan, uh, the only thing you will find uh, uh, besides sort of, uh, you know, uh, uh, various uh, uh, bandit gold pieces and such, and and perhaps um, one or two primitive uh, diabolist markers around, is uh, uh, the uh, uh, singer uh, uh, does have a, a shield that looks magical. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it looks like it's a, a plus two AC shield um, and has a, uh, a secondary ability to it as well. Mm. So what is the group doing? Well, I think we need to... Move our butts back to Denmark. Did we just save that town once? Lord. It's time to burn it to the ground. <laughs> yeah. This is getting to be old. Yeah. Um, you'll probably get a few more details out of the bandits just to, uh, that they had to do. They were called. Uh, they were following up to bring extra resources to the thing. They had to do it in a hurry. They received word from the, the Diabolus ward from town that you guys were going to be out of town. That you guys had left, um, and that it had to happen tonight um, to have you guys out of the way, um, and that she headed down with with the the other demons that she had called up, and they are going to essentially awaken the great sentinel that's under the mountain. She being the leader of the bandits, whoever he's calling the 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 Diabolus ward. Okay. So. Gather yourselves together uh, and uh, uh, head back. Yeah. Okay. Um, it is short, but we are heading for the climax. Uh, you guys are rushing through the night, through the, the, the storm, uh, the storm-free uh, uh, air, but still crossing across the snow. Uh, Master uh, Cherik alongside you, uh, helping you find the quickest route. Um, and even as you are, are traversing and, and rushing towards Denmark, and we'll make some checks for that later, um, you can kind of feel the rumbling in the earth. Um, and that's what we're going to take up next time. Uh, can we identify the properties of the boots and the shield? Yes, we'll uh, I will give you that. So the boots are uh, your standard plus two to disengage checks. But they are also indestructible. Oh, even better for disengage. Yeah, they they essentially they cannot be destroyed by normal means. Do you have any boots yet, Tallfoot? I do. I got the plus one face stompers, but I'd be willing to trade those because. Um... Those are the ones that give you a plus five damage when something goes staggered. I never seem to be there when things get staggered. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you can have them if you if you want them. Yeah, do you want the face stopper boots? Uh, sure. If nothing else, that's okay. fine. Uh, we, we trade boots. Okay. <laughs> quickly, quickly trade boots in the snow as you gather yourselves to, together. <laughs> um, the other thing is a shield. Again, it's uh, plus two to uh, AC. Um, but it can also uh, be used to is a uh, what's called a portal shield, um, and it will create a uh, a, a tunnel through uh, non enchanted solid material. It's about a you know like a six by three by ten foot long tunnel. Hmm, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So, everybody can have uh, another incremental advance. Uh, you will note where you are recovery-wise. And uh, uh, any other questions? Does it seem like an okay place for you guys? Will we stop here? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's fine with me. Okay. Um, so, we're going to take up. Again, we're not playing this next week. But we're playing in two weeks. 
and we will get to the big finale. All right. All right. All right. Sounds Sounds good. Good. Thank you guys very much. I'm sorry about the the, the hiccups there at the start with uh, Skype and such, but uh, yeah, that's just technology. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. See everybody. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks, guys. Bye. Two weeks. Get you later. Bye, y'all. Bye.